Hello everyone. Today we are seeing an experiment, optical strain measurement using digital image correlation, that is DIC. Strain measurement also involves strain gauges, extensometer, but they are they give the strain in a local area or within the gauge length. The importance of DIC that is it is a non-contact type strain measurement technique and can do uh, full field strain measurement. Let's see in brief how this DIC technique works. Like the camera is mounted in front of your specimen and keeps on capturing images until the failure. And that images do the post processing and give you the strain values. To, to capture the image, so how actually that image also how they are correlated. So the sample or your specimen either in tension or compression, they have to be speckle pattern. So how we do the speckle pattern? First, we spray a uh, white spray on a, uh, your specimen and then we put a dots by using a marker pen or by using the black spray on it. So the dot is traced in the images. The first image we take, we call that as a reference image and the other images which we have already captured until the failure, that image actually uh, that uh, subset or the point it traced uh, until the failure which gives us the strain value. So this is how the brief introduction to the DIC technique, the equipment needed are UTM machine, your specimen, the grips whether you are doing tension or compression, camera, lens and light source. So here for this demo experiment, uh, we will be using a concrete specimen. This is the concrete material, uh, we call the, that as a UHPC, ultra high performance concrete. It is a circular disc of 50 mm dia and 20 mm thickness. So this is the raw sample we have got from water jet cutting. So the sample preparation is you need to polish the surface by using polish paper and then spraying it with a white first and then black spray on it. Or you can uh, use a, a thin uh, marker pen to uh, make the spots. So uh, after spraying and all, this is how your sample will look. I have polished it, sprayed white and then black pattern on it. So this specimen is ready for a DIC experiment. This is the actual setup for a DIC experiment. This is an UTM of load cell 50 kN. These are the uh, compression platens. Your specimen is mounted between two platens. This is a camera setup, camera uh, with the lens. And these two are the light sources which we are needed. And this UTM uh, will load your specimen and images are captured continuously which are getting stored in the computer. Here to record the images we are using a software called Wixnap version 9. So this is the window we have selected and uh, the FPS we have kept as 30 and uh, when we start the test from the UTM before starting the UTM machine we need to uh, start the taking images first then we can move on there. So this is the screen I have shown you. Now let's move on to the UTM machine again and uh, see the operation. Here we are seeing the software used for uh, operating UTM machine. I have kept the speed of 0.5 mm per minute and uh, now we are tearing off this load and extension value before starting. So I am starting the UTM and simultaneously we need to uh, start capturing the images as well. So I am not taking camera to the uh, system side, starting taking uh, images from there. Before starting this UTM machine, I need to uh, start uh, recording images first. So uh, I am uh, starting that recording. Yes, it started. Now I, I can uh, start the UTM. Yes, so uh, here we can see the curve is plotting load versus extension. These are the load value 132, 174 Newton and these are the extension value. Simultaneously your images also getting recorded. Now we are focusing on only the screen. Uh, where the uh, images are getting captured, you can see the numbers over here that is 1400, 1500, 
these images are getting captured uh, by means of uh, 30 fps. We will keep on capturing until the sample failure. You can see some cracks are initiating from the center. Let's stop the test uh, here. I'm stopping the test now. Here you can see the curve of load versus extension. At the end, the main point to be remember while using this DIC technique, your specimen should be uh, properly aligned and uh, it is parallel with the camera. Second point is the speckle patterning should be proper. You have to uh, verify it before doing the test and the uh, light sources should be uh, proper to capture the image. Once your images are captured, these images are collected and can be uh, do post-processing using a software NCOR, N-C-O-R-R. -R. So this is how uh, the DIC experiment uh, works. Thank you.